Hello and welcome to Sidokanar. So that's the last uh, puzzle I need to solve from this Swiss round for the WPF Sudoku Grand Prix. This puzzle is by Roger Kohler and the title is Anti-Night Sudoku and the special rule is that whenever you have two cells that are separated by a, a knight's move, like in chess, then those digits must be different and therefore none of, none of those two cells can contain a 5 and none of those cells can contain a 6 um, by this anti-knight rule. It was worth 66 points, which is quite high. I managed to solve it during the contest, but since then I failed to solve it a couple of times in the video. So after a few days of resting my mind, I've decided I give it another try. So first, I remember that seven, those sevens are powerful because with uh, just the standard rules of Sudoku, you rule those two cells out. But this cell count is seen by this seven, so it can't be a seven. And the same happens here with this seven. So there's a seven here. And now those sevens say that 7 must be somewhere here, but this cell is seen by this and by that, so there's a 7 here. This 7 forbids all of those cells, this 7 here forbids those cells, so there's a 7 here, and up there there must be a 7 somewhere, but first this 7 removes all those positions, and this 7 here removes this one, so there's a 7 here, and 7 must be somewhere in one of those two cells. This 7 removes all those positions. This 7 removes those two positions. So there's a 7 here, a 7 there, and the last 7 in the grid is here. So that's nice, that's a nice start. We have something with 2's, I think. Those 2's remove all of this. This two removes this, so there's a two somewhere here. This two removes all those. This two removes this, so there's a two in one of those cells. And it removes this one, put this one, puts a two here, which removes this one, and we get a two here. And just by the standard rules of Sudoku, we have a two here. So we must have a two somewhere here. But this is ruled out by this, so there's a 2 here, a 2 here, and we have all of them. Another interesting place to look is that 6 can't be in any of those, and 9 can't be in any of those. So 9 and 6 are uh, somewhere else. And in this column, only 3, 6, and 8 remain. No, not 6, sorry, but 4. And 4 can't be here, obviously. 8 is not in here, so 8 has to be somewhere and somewhere. But this 9 is interesting because 9 is in none of those. So we can locate 9 in one of two positions. And on this row, 9 must be somewhere here, and somewhere here. Four can't be here or there, so there must be a four in one of two places. Nine can't be here, can't be here, so nine is in one of two places. And this can only be three or eight. Five is in one of two places here. Five is not here, it's not here. So two places for five here as well, and two places here. Five is removed from all those positions. So that's a five. That's not five, this is a five. 
So now only two places for five in this box because this five row removes this position. So now on this row, five must appear somewhere here. And this place is actually impossible because it will rule five out of those two places. So we can remove five from this cell. And there are still <clears throat> um, two places in here. This, <clears throat> sorry, this one is removed by this five. So in this column, five can only be here. Four is, is none of those places, so that is a four. And it places a four here, <clears throat> which removes this four and places 4 here and 9 here. So 9 must be in one of two places in here. This 9 removes this 9, places... Oh no, that, there are still two places for 9 in here. And... Well, still a lot of places for 9, except this. In this region, we still have four places for nine, four cells. I don't think much can be done with that. So this row still needs a four, it's not here, so that's three or eight, and that's a four. So four is in none of those, and it's not in here either because of this 4. So 4 is somewhere in this column and we have a 4 somewhere here. And because of this and because of this 4 and this 4, there must be a 4 here and a 4 there. Oh, and I didn't spot this 4 here. So we place a 4 in this cell and I think we have all 4s in the grid. I soon be forced to switch to candidates, I think. It looks very much like it. This column needs one, three, and eight, and actually this is this one, so this must be three or eight. And we have a three eight pair here, so this can't be three or eight, this has to be a one, and the second three or eight in the column is here. In this column with the 3-8 pair, we need a 6-9 pair. So this can only be 5 or 6, and this is 5, 6 or 9. 9 is somewhere around here. So 3, 6 and 8 are the candidates here. And, oh, actually not 8. 3, 6 and 5. In this box, one can only be here. This place is ruled out by this. So it pushes the 9 to this cell. And up there, we must have a 9 somewhere in here. This one is 3, 6, and 8. And there's actually an 8 in one of those. Not seeing what this does. Here the only values are 3, 6 and 8. And I'm scanning to find if, uh, if I see any kind of elimination. And actually I see elimination in this. Because this cell is seen by both cells here. So it can't be 3 or 8. It has to be 5 or 6. So 3, 6 and 8 here as well. I'm not seeing anything. But 8 is in one of them, definitely.
So this is becoming more difficult. And actually the the three eight trick happens here again. So this can't be three or eight, it can't be nine. So it can only be a one or a six. The chip one is here or there. And that's interesting because I can't put a one in here. And on this row, one can only appear in this cell. So there must be a one somewhere here, but this cell is forbidden by that. So there must be a one in one of those places. And that's interesting because this one prevents this from having a one. It, we can't have a one here because of this. So in this column, one can only be here. And we have a one here or there. In this column, six can't be here or there because of this six, but it could still be here. Here, three, six, eight, and nine. Is there anything we can remove? Eight is not here. Oh, on this row, this six can't be here. So six can only be here, and it pushes the five here, the nine there. That's not a six anymore because of this. And that's a five. So one, three, six, and nine, that's a not one. That's not six. And all four values seem to be valid here. That's not six, so that's three, eight, or nine. That's not eight, so three, six, or nine. That's not nine, that's not eight, so one, three, or six. That's a lot of three or eight. How would they be disambiguated? Oh, I had missed this. This 9 places a 6 here. So that's not a 6. So the values are 3, 8, and 9. And the interesting part is that one of them is a 9. So this can't be a 9. And it pushes the 9 down, pushes the 5 to the right. So that's not a 5. That's a 5. 3, 6, 8, so this is 3, 6, or 8, but this is also 3, 6, or 8. So there's a 9 here, so this can't contain a 9. This is also 3, 6, or 8. So there's a 6 in one of them, but that doesn't seem to be very useful. Well, something interesting here. Yes. This here can't be here. So now that's not really interesting. No, oh, sorry, I have been missing this. There's an 8 somewhere here, so that's not 8. So on this row, 8 is here or there. So that can't be 8. This is 3, 8 or 9. And this is 3, 6 or 8. How is this... How is this about to resolve? I may be just missing some elimination, some, plain, some elimination in plain sight. But that's 
the reason I, I usually hate Antina. And I didn't hate it during the contest because I, I managed to solve what's to be done in this step. But right now I just have to scan all, all sensitive positions, I, I'm afraid. So, or perhaps there is something like an X-Wing. I just don't remember. Something like that. I see skyscrapers here. So, I have no recollection at all. On this seventh column, there's a six-year-old there. On this third column, there's a six-year-old there. So what? Well, the interesting part is that, obviously, you can't put a six in here and in here. There is at most a six in here and there. And therefore, if you take those cells, one of them has to be a six. If neither of them were a six, then those green cells would have to be sixes, both of them. So, knowing that, knowing that this, all that, at least one of them is a six, this can't be a six anymore. And this can't be a six anymore, either. Now, is this helpful? I'm not sure at all about this. Or oh, something else I'm seeing, which is probably more useful, let's remove the coloring. Let's have a look at three eights, and let's use color. So this is some value, three or eight, this one is another, this one is the same as the first, this one is the same as this. And this is interesting, well actually that's a very convoluted way of seeing that we have a three eight pair here and that three can't be in here. Well, and something else is that there's a there's an eight in here all there, and that this can't be an eight. And now in this row we have a three six pair, so that is a nine. That is a three, and this should resolve all of that. So this here is a nine. So that's not 9, that's not 9, so 9 is here, and this has to be 1 or 6, so 3, 8, so that's a 3, that's an 8, this, this is not over, oh, this 3 removes 3 from this, and by night smooth that's not a 3, This 3 here gives a 9 and the 8, so that's a 3. That's not 3, but then we have a 1 6 pair, and this can't be a 6 anymore, so that's an 8. That's 3, that's 6. That's 3, that's 8, that's 6. Here I get a 1 and a 6, and a 1 and a 3 and a 6 and a 3, and an 8, and a 6, and an 8, and a 6, and that's it. Ooh, not an easy puzzle. The 66 points are well deserved. And I'm glad I finally managed to do this on video. So that will complete the whole solve on the channel, as I usually do with WPF Sudoku Grand Prix. Thanks for watching all of this. See you soon on Sudokana.